Hi, my name is Jason. Let's connect the dots. Hello, today we're at my range and we're going to talk about bench setup. As with most videos, they will correlate to a blog on ctdshooting.com. Bench setup is difficult to explain because it's very subjective. Each person is going to have a system or a style that works best for them, plus each rifle is going to have a system or a style that it shoots best in. So I'm going to give you what I do and the idea is for you to take bits and pieces and apply them to your own situation. There are basically two goals that we need to accomplish while setting up our bench. The first one is with the target in the sight picture, we have to have the rifle track straight back. And the second one, we want to get that done in as short amount of time as possible. We don't want other competitors waiting on us. Plus, the faster we get it done, the more time we have to study the conditions. The first thing I want to do is get my height of my chair and through trial and error I have found the height that works best for me. I like to have the rifle butt right in the pocket of my shoulder and I also don't like to uh, have to move my head or strain my neck to look through my scope. So what I have is I found my height and I marked it on a piece of rope. So now every time I go to a new match or a new bench I just take out my rope and measure that height. Next thing I want to do is I want to get a rough placement of my rear bag. So on the same piece of rope, I have a black mark. And I just lay this down and that'll be the front of my rear bag. So right around that distance. And then I like to have my rear bag about a quarter to a half inch from the edge of this bench. I think that's very important because when you lean against the table, you do not want to be leaning against your bag. Lean against the table, not the bag. The last thing I do, now that I have that starting distance, is I stand behind the bag and I just line up the target with direct line with those ears. That just gives me a rough idea of where this bag is. I'll have to move the bag, but this is a general idea of where it's going to go. The last part of this phase is to set rough set the front rest and I use super feet so I'm just going to put down my super feet and I have a third mark that gives me a rough idea of where the front edge of my front rest is going to go And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the target up through the ears and that front rest. There should be a straight line going from my, my ears through the front rest to the target. That's pretty close. So again, that's just the rough setup. I'm going to move all this stuff, but this gives me a general idea of where things are going to go. In phase two, I'm going to do a rough setup with the rifle. First thing I need to do is check to make sure that my front rest, front rest is level. Good. And then I'm just going to loosely set in the rifle. I'm not going to stick it down in the ears. I'm not going to push it back and forth. And uh, first thing I want to do is just make sure that I have a straight line to the target. I'm going. I'm making a straight line through the buttstock, through the scope, through the barrel, and it should hit the target. And I can see I'm a little bit to the left already. That looks better. And then I'm also going to um, just back a little bit. Good. 
I'm also going to match up these lines on my stock and the rear bag. A few checks that we want to do in this phase of the setup is to match up my lines on the rear stock and the rear bag. You can see how they don't match up. So I'm just going to move my rear bag until they do match up. And what that does is that gives me the same distance of my butt stock and the bag each time. I, when I lean against the rifle, I don't want to be leaning against the bag. Those lines, make sure that that happens. Another thing I want to check is I will check the straightness of this front rest. And what I'm doing is I'm matching up this part of the stock with this part of the front rest. So I'm just going to So I'm just going to slide that forward. I'm going to get my ears a little bit tighter. There we go. And you can see that it's kiltered. This side is touching, but this side's there's still a gap. So I move my rest just a little bit. And now they match up. The last part that I want to do, and I think this is super important in terms of tracking, is I want to make sure that this bag is lined up in a straight line with everything else. And I can do that by using the stitching. I want the stitching to look the same. As I look down through the stock, I want the stitching to look the same on both sides of that stock. And it's kind of tough with me being on the side like this, but that should be pretty close. That's, this is super important in terms of tracking. Okay. Over there. I'm just gonna stand behind the whole system and Everything should be in a straight line from the target, through the muzzle of the barrel, through the scope, through the action, through the rear ears. Everything should be in a straight line. And lots of times I'll look through the bore and I can see the target right now through the bore. So that's a good sign. Okay, now it's time to fine tune it with the rifle. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to settle the rifle into the bags. I'm going to push down on the back, go back and forth. And this, what this does is just settling the rifle into all the bags. It's getting the sand where it needs to go. I'm going to look through the scope. And I'm going to move my crosshairs left and right. And I should be pretty well centered. The center of my joystick is now in the center of the target. Then I'm going to tighten my ears. What I like to do is tighten these until I feel it engage. Don't engage, don't engage. And then I go just a little bit more. Again, that's going to be 100% preference on what the rifle likes. My rifle does not like a lot of front tension on there. Uh, kind of a general rule is when you, when you move the rifle back, you don't want it to stick and then just give way right away this if i move it back the rifle's coming back if i get the ears too tight it'll stick and then break loose and you don't want that <clears throat> all right so i'm looking through there i do need to raise my rest up a little bit i like to have the joystick that when the joystick is in the middle position i like it to be in the middle of the target there. All right, now probably the most important reason, most important part, and the whole reason why we're doing this is I want to make sure the rifle tracks straight. So I'm going to put my crosshairs in the middle of the X. I got a score target down there. So I'm putting it in the cider target in the X. And without touching anything, I'm just going to bring the rifle straight back. And I'm going to watch the crosshairs go up the target. So on bowl number four, which is the top right target, I'm right at the edge of the 10 ring. So here I'm in the X, in the center of it. Bring it back. Right edge of the X. And by the time I get to the top, I'm still inside the 10 ring. So I'm set up pretty good. If it doesn't go straight up, the first thing you should check is your rear bag. Make sure that that is centered left and right on your stock.
The last part of our setup, well, second to last part, is we have to put our accessories down on the bench. I always like to use a towel. Uh, this lets my brass fall on the towel. If the wind's blowing hard, I have this snake that's filled with sand. That'll keep the towel on the bench. I have a rear bag for my elbow, and I have a front bag for my hand. And there it is. That's my setup. I think it's important if you're going to a match where you have to rotate benches to keep your accessories on the bench to a minimum. Don't have a bunch of stuff that you have to take off and organize every single time. Uh, that's just kind of a big waste of time. If you need those accessories, keep them in a tote off to the side of the bench. That way, if you need them, they're right there. The last part of my setup is I'm going to mark the bench. And I use small marks. And I mark the edges of my super feet. I mark the front edge of my rear bag and the back edge of my rear bag. And those are all the marks that I have on the bench. Those markings allow me to take this equipment off and now I can set it back up and not have to go through all those steps of getting behind the bag and, and all those things that take a lot of time. I just use my marks and I know that everything is set up. Competitors, or I've seen competitors outline every single thing on their bench. There's no need for that. You know, have some respect for other competitors, have some respect for the people that are in charge of the benches. Other people will be marking these benches also. And so I'm going to take my equipment off and we'll take a picture of, and I'll show you exactly what my bench looks like with, with those marks on there. One thing that I did not mention on the accessories, I will put my ammo holder and my stopwatch on my front rest. That way they're always in the same spot. Bench setup, uh, it's very subjective. You need to find what works best for you and what works best for the rifle. Hopefully you can take a few bits and pieces from this, add it to other things that you have seen and create your own style. Until next time, enjoy the experience.